the whole city series Cigars and citrus sevens, black cement threes, fours The hairs and bread elevens No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting With these door and becker fives you can see me in any lighting It's exciting, I'll be flexing to the coldest degree What's up everybody, it's Sneakerhead, I'm Chex If you've never been to a sneaker convention before Or a sneaker event, whatever you want to call it And you're planning on or thinking about attending one for the first time This video's for you I'm talking about like sneaker con, got soul, like something of that sort Now before I get into it, I just want to let y'all know that I'm going to be at Kicks and Tricks, a sneaker event this coming April 21st. It's going to be in North Kingstown, Rhode Island. This will be my first time attending Kicks and Tricks, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be buying, selling, and trading sneakers, art, clothing, and more. So check them out on Instagram at Kicks and Tricks 47 for more details. Or just go down to the description in this video. I'm going to leave a link to the Eventbrite where you can go purchase tickets and vendor tables while they're still available. So if you can, pull up on the 21st. I'd love to meet some of y'all there. And if you do go and you see me, make sure you say what's up. I'll see y'all there. But yeah, if you're going to one of these sneaker events for the first time and you're unsure how you should prepare or what you should prepare for, whether you're going to vend or just attend, I'm going to go over some suggestions that'll make your experience better. I'm going to go over my suggestions for people that are going there to buy first and then for vendors afterwards. So the first thing is you want to arrive there early if there's any steals at the event they're definitely going to go sooner rather than later so you want to be there to take advantage of that but honestly if you end up being late it's fine because i'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all a lot of these events don't really be having steals like that in general for the most part a lot of people are trying to move their stuff at market value at these events so you're probably not really missing out on that much if you don't get there when it first starts and a lot of the times in most cases you're more likely to find better deals on stuff towards the end of these events than you are in the beginning because in the beginning everybody's a little bit more firm on their prices you know they just got there there's a lot of time left i know they're going to see a lot of people somebody else may buy at the price that they're asking at but towards the end of the day especially if it's a one day event they're not coming back tomorrow you know they might be a little bit more negotiable because you know maybe they didn't make as much money as they thought they would or as much as they like to and so making a sale to you might help even if it's not what they're asking for so either way you'll be fine just don't show up too late especially if it's a sneaker con or a god soul you always have a really big space with a lot of vendors and it's going to take you some time to walk down all them aisles and look at all the tables and stuff so i say if you plan to look at like every table and you want to see everything i say allow yourself at least a good like two hours to do all that if it's a sneaker con or a god soul event that you're going to there's really no need to buy the tickets ahead of time on eventbrite because both of them let you pay at the door and then you can avoid the eventbrite fee now i know some people would feel better securing them ahead of time just to be sure especially if you're traveling far to go to the event and that's fine because the eventbrite fees are only a couple of dollars but just know that if you didn't buy the tickets in advance you can still buy them the day of or while the event is going on but at that point you definitely might as well pay at the door like i've never heard of god soul or sneaker con ever selling out so if it's last minute and you decide you want to go you can i know sneaker con usually does a limited amount of pre-sale tickets so if it's a sneaker con that you're attending and you're sure you're gonna go i'd recommend getting those if you can catch them while they're available because they're gonna be cheaper than the regular admission i know god soul does a vip admission for their events where you pay like an extra ten dollars in general admission and you get to get in the event an hour earlier which isn't really worth it usually if you ask me but that's just my opinion if it's a two-day event i would recommend going to both days if you can it is gonna be the same vendors both days for the most part but you still may see some things on that second day that weren't there the first day when you go make sure you have money and have it in cash or ready to sell apple pay cash app one of those i would not go in there looking to use a credit or debit card i know some vendors and people have the little like machine or app where they could take card but a lot of people don't so don't inconvenience yourself make sure you go in there with some cash and one of the digital methods i just named some vendors will accept trades on stuff but a lot of them are just trying to sell for the most part because keep in mind every person that has a table there had to pay for that table and them tables don't be cheap so a lot of them are probably trying to make as much cash as they can to make up for that as opposed to just swapping items with people it never hurts to ask but if you're going to one of these events trying to make trades you're probably better off trying to strike up deals with somebody that doesn't have a table if it's a sneaker con that you're going to they always have a designated section called the trading pit so you can go there for trades anywhere else you'll probably just have to kind of catch somebody walking around or somebody who's just posted with some sneakers on the floor now this one's very important if you're going to one of these events looking for something specific make sure you know the values of those pairs ahead of time check all the sneaker aftermarket platforms beforehand you never know your phone may end up having bad connection in there and you don't want to be sitting there waiting five minutes for stock x to go too low while you're trying to negotiate with a seller on something knowing the current lowest ask lowest ask payout last sale highest bid or offer knowing all that stuff off the top of your head is going to make negotiating so much smoother for you speaking of negotiating be ready to negotiate if you have negotiating skills this is prime time to use them and if you don't have negotiating skills and need to work on them this is the perfect place to start practicing another very important thing is make sure you go and see everything before you make a purchase when you're going down them aisles look at every table look at both sides these events be having a bunch of vendors so there may be more than one person in there that has what you're looking for you don't want to buy from the first person you see for 300 when there was somebody a couple hours over or a couple tables down that had the same shoe same size same condition for like 270 or something like that you know what i mean like don't be afraid to tell the person like yo i just got here like i like your price but let me just walk around and see what else unless you really feel like it's gonna sell before you get back to it i don't want to encourage y'all to walk away from something if when 
when you come back, it's going to be gone. See, what you should do is see that first person be like, right, I'm going to walk around, see if anybody does any better. As soon as you say that, they already may become more negotiable. But even if they don't, you walk around, you go see if you can find another pair. Even if you don't, you can go back to that person and be like, yo, man, you know, I had somebody that told me they do 260. They may be like, okay, so then go buy from them for 260. <laughs> or they may be like, oh, okay, um, I'll do 260. You know what I mean? So it never hurts to see what your options are and then compare. Especially if it's a newer release that you're seeing a lot that even if you don't get them at this event, you can get them somewhere else. Those are the shoes where the ball's in your court. The more common the shoe is, the more advantage you have as the buyer. I want to go off on a tangent about that, but make sure you see everything before you make a purchase. Probably the most important piece of advice I'm going to give you in this video, and it's very basic, but like I said, it's very important. Be careful about what you buy there and do not rush into anything. Now that advice goes for any sneaker transaction, period, obviously. But if you're not sure about a shoe, don't buy it. Do whatever authenticating and checking that you need to do right there at the table before you buy it. Don't be afraid to do that. Do not buy the shoe and then walk away and then be like, oh, let me check. No. I feel like most people are scared they're going to like offend the seller by, I guess, like seeming like they're doubting the authenticity of what they're selling. And I get it, but you shouldn't feel that way. No way you should spend money on a shoe and walk away without checking it just because you were like embarrassed or shy to look at it in front of the person. If you go to do it and you end up feeling awkward about it, maybe you're looking at them or like comparing something or authenticating them and they kind of like staring at you. All you got to say is like, yo, no disrespect to you. I just want to be sure. Or, you know, I don't mean to offend you. I just want to double check. Like something along those lines, they should understand. And if they don't, fuck them. What are they going to do? Lose out on your money? They don't want to do that. So yeah, if you need to get a friend or whatever to help look at them for you, bring your friend to the table and do all that there. Just make sure you're confident about what you're buying before you buy the shoe and walk away from the table. Because if you buy the shoe and walk away and then you come back with an issue now you look sus like you look like you did something and that just makes everything more complicated and that goes for authenticity and condition check both shoes check both size tag make sure it's the correct size check in the box to make sure the accessories are there if they have any check the label on the box make sure everything's good don't rush and do dumb shit i would say try to pack as light as possible you're gonna be doing a lot of walking around and walking around with stuff in your hands carrying stuff around these events could get pretty annoying if anything maybe bring a backpack with you that way if you buy something like you could just put it in the bag it's on your back it's secure it's not in the way you don't have to necessarily carry it around in a bag with a handle or you could just take whatever you got go out to the car if you drove leave it in the trunk and then go back in but i'm telling you especially if it's a sneaker con or got sold and shit's be getting real crowded you don't want to be walking around there like yo what size are these oh oh i'm sorry oh excuse me trust me you're gonna be mad cumbersome so i'm sure there's a couple of things that i didn't cover but off the top of my head i feel like those are some of the main things that you should look out for or prepare for prior to attending one of these events if anybody has any other good suggestions or if there's anything that i didn't cover that you're unsure about feel free to leave a comment as for vendors if you got a table at sneaker con got soul kicks and tricks or any of the other events definitely make sure you arrive early especially if this is your first time vending or first time vending at this particular venue make sure you get there early enough to allow time for parking getting your table doing whatever signing in you got to do and getting all your inventory from your car or whatever to the table. The bigger the event, the more vendors there are. So keep that in mind as well. If you're vending at an event that has a lot of other vendors, there's going to be a whole bunch of y'all all trying to get your stuff into one room at the same time. So make sure you allow yourself more than enough time for all of that. You want to allow time for setting up. You definitely want to make sure you're set up before people start coming in. You don't want to be still bringing stuff in or trying to set up by the time the event starts. Probably the most important suggestion that I have for people vending at these events is to make sure you have at least one person with you helping out with this preferably two or more people if you can but if not definitely at least one i want to say setting up and maintaining a vendor table at one of these events is damn near impossible if you're by yourself like it's not impossible like you could do it but it's really tough by yourself because number one bringing all your stuff in by yourself is a pain in the ass you got to leave your stuff unattended while you're bringing it from the car to the table then the worst part is once the event starts, you can't leave the table for nothing. If you're the only person there, you can't just walk away for a bathroom break or to go get something to eat. Like, you gotta stay there. And that's for a good, like, five to six hours. No food, no bathroom, no nothing for five, six hours is crazy. You're gonna need a break for something. So, that's why you want at least one person with you. So, if you need to go to the bathroom, you need to go get something to drink real quick, you need to go to the car, take a smoke break, you need to do anything, you can be like, yo, I'll be right back, just hold it down real quick. If you don't have at least one person that can help you set up or help monitor the table, you may want to consider not vending because doing that shit alone is crazy. You definitely want to bring something that's going to be convenient to transport your sneakers in. If you got like a wagon, a cart, 
something with wheels that can hold in a decent amount of stuff that's probably the best if not i guess the next best thing would be like duffel bags or something of that sort it's just that bringing them in bags or straight up carrying them when you're walking back and forth it can get pretty tiresome if you got a lot of stuff so try to get something with wheels that you can put your stuff on and push in there so that you don't exhaust yourself before the event even starts so once you get all your stuff in there and you're setting up you want to make your setup as appealing as can be make sure the stuff that you're selling that people like the most is the most visible you know have it out there in the front so people can see when they walk by you want to be able to catch people's attention if you want to get real efficient with it maybe think about or plan your setup ahead of time and pack accordingly and when it comes to catching people's attention with your table it doesn't necessarily have to be with sneakers you know you could do something like you could put a poster up there that'll grab attention i've seen people with like the the life-size jordan thing you know stuff of that sort you bring a little baddie with you to just stand at the table she ain't even got to do nothing if she fire all she got to do is stand and people gonna gravitate towards the table you want to make sure you have your prices ready you should know the price you're asking and the absolute lowest you'll take on every pair that you're selling off the top of your head you should also have that information written down somewhere like in a note or something that way if you need to step away from the table whoever's holding the table down for you they can have access to that note and if somebody walks by and says, yo, how much for these? They can just look at the note and tell them instead of calling you and being like, yo, how much you want for these? It's easier for everybody. Now, instead of doing all that, an alternate solution would be how people write the price and size on a hang tag and then just attach that to each shoe. Or they'll write the price and size on a label and then stick that to the bottom of the sole or something like that. That way, they don't have to ask you. You don't have to tell them. They can see it right there. And if they're interested, then they can ask. It's a lot less back and forth to people. It's not a bad idea to have some snacks and water at the table with you. That way, when you get hungry or thirsty, you don't have to necessarily leave. It'll definitely be more cost efficient than buying something there because the price that sneaker con and god are always crazy i paid like 15 dollars for i think a hamburger and a bag of chips one time they'd be wild with the prices so it'll definitely be more cost efficient to have some snacks rather than to buy something there or to order something be wary of fake bills and all the other usual sneaker selling precautions remember it's not a regular meetup where you'd at least have some information on the person that you're doing a transaction with it's very easy for somebody to pull up to one of these events trade you some fakes or buy something from you with some counterfeit bills and then leave you won't be able to catch them remember god soul is not responsible for any law Lost, stolen or damaged items they put that on all their flyers so if something like that goes down i don't know if they'll even help i don't know if sneaker con or any of the others have the same policy but i would not rely on any of them to do too much in a situation like that so just be careful once again if anybody has any other good suggestions or if there's something that i didn't cover that you're curious or unsure about feel free to leave a comment if this video was helpful or informal in any way i really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in more sneaker related content please do us both a favor and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already once you're subscribed make sure you tap that little bell icon next to the subscribe button and select all that way when i put a new video out you get notified you won't miss out on anything thank you all for watching everybody please stay safe and healthy out there and i'll see you next time